In the northern province of Trabzon, where football means everything, a match-fixing scandal that Trabzonspor and its supporters claim robbed them of a Super League trophy in 2011 still resonates strongly in the streets, placing candidates from the ruling Justice and Development Party, AK Party, in a difficult spot. As if that were not enough, the lead candidate running on the AK Party ticket, Suleiman Soylu, who is also a deputy chairman of the ruling party, was found to be a member of Fenerbahce, Trabzonspor's arch-rival. Fenerbahce officials, including the club's chairman, Aziz Yldrm, are accused of having rigged games in the Sport Toto Super League in 2011. The Turkish Football Federation, TFF, barred Fenerbahce from the 2012 season's Champions League under pressure from the Union of European Football Associations, UEFA, in connection with the match-fixing investigation and replaced the champion with runner-up Trabzonspor. However, the championship was not awarded to Trabzon by the AK party government. The head of the Nationalist Movement Party's, MHP, Ordaiser office, Burhan Becker, told today's Zeman that locals are still asking the ruling party candidates when the stolen trophy will be brought back to Trabzonspor. That is why the AK party candidates are having difficulty in canvassing neighborhoods and walking in the downtown area, he added. Although his roots lie in Trabzon, Soylu is not a well-known figure in the province. He made a name for himself nationwide when, as the leader of the Democrat Party, DP, he harshly criticized then-Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan before he was co-opted and joined the AK party ranks. The governing party tried to make up for the loss in its reputation on the match-fixing scandal by launching an ambitious project of building a brand new 42,000 seat capacity Akya Stadium, to replace the aging Hussein Acre Stadium. The stadium is being built on artificially created land offshore to the west of the provincial capital. Construction began in 2013 but has not been completed yet. Becker said the ruling party had been touting this project in the past three election cycles to woo voters, but the project was not completed. There are additional land plots that were gained by land reclamation by filling the sea and no one knows what they are for and who will be their owner, he said. He suspects the AK party will enrich its own business people by handing over the valuable land for the construction of malls, hotels, and other attractions. The corruption scandal has also taken a toll on the popularity of the AK party. Erdogan Bayraktar, the former environment and urban planning minister who had to resign in December 2013 over his involvement in corruption or bribery, is a lawmaker from Trabzon. People shout at the AK party candidates, asking where the thieves are when they see them campaigning on the street, Becker noted. Omer Haksaliholu, the deputy chairman of the provincial office of the main opposition Republican People's Party, CHP, says even the ruling AK party candidates acknowledge the massive corruption scandal that was exposed in December 2013 and implicated senior government officials. Everything boils down to the economy, however, he added, stressing that unemployment and staggering credit card and personal debt have burdened people, who now blame the government. Trabzon has the highest unemployment rate in the Eastern Black Sea region, with 7.4% in official data from the Turkish Statistics Institute, Turkstat, in 2013. This increased to 11.4% in 2015 as of February. Youth unemployment was at 20% in the same period. People no longer buy into President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's talking points, he underlined. Erdogan has been campaigning on behalf of the ruling party, although this is illegal and unconstitutional. Haksaliholu believes the more Erdogan talks, the more voters are turned off by the ruling party. He also pointed out that the ruling AK party made a mistake in the nominees list by placing low-profile figures on the ticket. Predictions for the June 7 general election are often based on the results of local elections in March 2014, which determine the distribution of seats in provincial councils. The percentages that political parties obtained in provincial councils are generally accepted as the best indicator of how people will vote in the national election. In Trabzon, the AK party received 53.9% of the vote in the provincial council elections, 
a drop of some 5 percentage points from the results of the 2011 national election. The ruling party won four deputy seats out of six available in Trabzon in the 2011 election. The main opposition CHP got one seat with 25.9%, while the MHP received another seat with 12.9%. The AK party is expected to lose another seat to either the CHP or the MHP depending on which opposition party is successful in getting out to campaign for votes in the June 7th election. Both parties claim they will secure two seats, leaving the AK party with the remaining two. That looks unlikely for the time being.